Yeah, that is insane amounts of damage. <laughs> yeah, I could get used to this. Hey, up, troops. Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what we're checking out today is the new gun. A lot of people have been super excited for this one. It is the Pain Train, and it looks so cool. We mentioned this in a video quite a while back, uh, just saying about the stats. So we know the stats that are going to be on it. But it's got the little railway sleepers going down here. We've got the little train on the front. It's got the bell. It's got the little coal carriage on the back. It just looks absolutely awesome. And any new assault rifle is going to cause quite a stir. But this one in particular is because... It actually allows you to put four damage perks on there, or up to four damage perks on there. Now, the two that we're going to be reviewing, the first one is this one. So, this one's actually got triple crit on there. So, what we've got is crit damage, crit damage, and crit rating. So, this is the triple crit build, which we're going to run first. And, obviously, down to play style, I've got reload and energy on there as well, which looks pretty damn wicked. Now, if you look at the other one that we're going to review, which is this one, it's actually got double damage on there. Now, you can take this, you can put even more damage perks by going up here and adding damage up there as well. So later on, I might even do one that's got the four damage perks on it as well. But for now, we're going to try both of these out. So first of all, and we're going to go for this one. So this one's got all the crits on it. So it's got crit rating and then double crit damage. So this is the one that we're going to go with first. Now, I am going to go with these heroes here. These are the heroes that I've actually got. Now, we've actually got first shot reel that we're going to run first. I'm going to run birthday brigade Ramirez just to get them crits up a little bit more. 72% more crit damage. And then I've got double urgent Evelyn as well. So this one's for the crits. One I'm going to do when we run it on the damage build then I'm going to change the birthday brigade Ramirez out for the master grenadier and then we're going to do it that way just for the extra damage on there as well so let's jump in game and check out the pain train oh wow <laughs> and that sounds amazing it sounds extremely impactful all right well that made short work of pretty much everything Okay, so we've got a blaster there and a blaster over there. And we've got some cowboy bobs. Always make things more difficult. So let's see what we got here. I mean, that just melts. Now, usually on a weapon like this... Oh, my God. Two takers, two takers. <laughs> All right. Okay. Did not account for you guys. We can still do this. Look at him just, like, swaggering off. Get ready. ready. Yeah, that's right. First take down, quick reload. Damn it, they hit hard. Second one down as well. Okay, good. We got revenge. <laughs> wow, that is disrespectful. That guy's not even woken up. Okay, let's just go and finish him off first. The reload on it's just nice. It gets rid of pretty much everything straight away. Let's go back around to these guys. Where are they? Oh, they're just baseball dance. There you go. So these are fire husks and we've got the energy element on there as well. So not perfect, but still good. This is why you go energy. So versatile. Wow, and that just melts anything that comes near you. Okay, well we got more blasters. There's loads of blasters on this map, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Reload. And dead. <laughs> so we've got tons of blasters and no smashes. Yay, finally we found one. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Alright, wasn't ready for him. Oh my god, right, okay, we're okay. So we got a small field of husks coming in. This'll be a good test. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. Alright, I got him still, I got him. Alright, that put him down so, so easily. You're welcome. Okay, let's go and try out the other build then so let's go and try out the full damage build and see if that's any better okay so this is the damage version then oh all right yeah that definitely dispatches things a lot a lot faster that is definitely quicker to take things down damn it if you finish your firing that is <laughs> all right where do you go okay let's get the reload speed on there as well which Rio actually gets a buff when you actually use the reload speed. There he is. Wow. And he's so stable as well. It just stays exactly where he should be. Whereas you get a little bit of recoil on the Spectre. This is just so pinpoint. The cool thing about this weapon 
is as well. It's got this last thing on here. It's actually got each shot fired grants plus 1.8% damage for one second and stacks up to 15 times. Now, someone told me that even once you've got the three damage perks on there, you're pretty much going to be maxing that out. You know, you're going to be maxing that stat out pretty early on. So there's no point on the fourth damage perk. However, I still want to test that out. Okay, let's try this out with reload on there. So reload on there for the extra speed. And we've also got Warcry on there as well. Oh my god, right, okay. Yeah, that is insane amounts of damage. <laughs> yeah, I could get used to this. This could easily become a staple weapon in the actual uh, backpack that I've got. I think double damage and crit rating gives you best of both worlds. I know a lot of people are going to want to go for additional damage and they're going to want to go potentially for mag size as well might be a good one. But you know, the playstyle I've always gone for is with the fast reload speeds and quick damage output. But it depends, you know, you can sustain the damage. If you're someone who doesn't like the reload animations or doesn't like reloading, you can get slightly more damage from sustain because the... Theory is that the enemy's dead before you've actually finished firing the clip out. However, I, I like to get the boost from Rio. So, you know, it's just it just depends on play styles. Okay, I want to use the war cry on a blaster. Okay, so let's take that one out first. That's without war cry or any buffs on it. And then if I find the other blaster, no, he's around here somewhere. There he is. Right, so what I'm going to do is reload. War cry. <laughs> I wanted to use there like half a clip. That was easy. Okay, that is impressive. Oh, perfect. So let's end on a smasheroo then. Because we got one up there. Now, I haven't got war cry pop, like, ready to pop because we've just used it. But I am going to wait. I'm just going to kite these guys around. Until I can actually get it. So what do we got? 12 seconds. All right, we we can dance for 12. Nope. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to move. Yeah, yeah, just do it. I don't care. Right, okay. All right, so the accuracy definitely helps. Right, there's the smasher. So here we go. So we're going to pop the reload speed. So we've got the extra fire rate on there. There we go. Reload and war cry and... Oh, that was just seconds. That was just absolute seconds. That was if it wasn't even there. I don't think I've ever taken out a smasher so fast. <laughs> okay, this is definitely one that's going to be staying in the armory for quite a while. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. I mean, the way that it fires is absolutely great. It sounds great. Love the little train noises that it's giving out as well. The little train noise vibe. Definitely one worth holding on to. And when you've got war cry popped as well and the reload, there's not much that can survive in there. Not much at all. <laughs> and it's quite it's quite like decent on bullets as well. It's not using up all my bullets or anything like that. I really need to make more room in my bags. <laughs> okay, let's go back and compare these then. So if we have a look at these two builds, then the first one that we've got, we put on there the crit damage on there. So we've got crit rating, two lots of crit damage on there, which worked out pretty, pretty good. Now, the other one that we used was the one that's got double damage on there. We still got the crit combo on there, but we used the double damage as well, because I'm thinking best of both worlds would actually help the most out here. Now, having a look at the actual stats on there, if we have a, just a quick scour at these... You can see from the stats, now the actual damage output is significantly higher on the one with double damage, as you would expect. So the one on the right there, which is the double damage one, has got 11,751.5 damage and a headshot damage of 17,627, which is huge. Whereas the one with the crit on there has got 8,000 and then it's got 12,000 for the headshot damage. So they've both got the crit chance on there as well, but the double crit damage on there, if you have a look, 392%, which is more than admirable. Does that make up for the, for the deficit? it i'm not sure especially with that special perk that it's got on the bottom i think that maybe a third damage perk may be better the damage one definitely felt better uh, but i think you know you can use double damage and have the crit on there as well and have the best of both worlds that's the way that i'm going to use this gun and the way that i'm going to perk this one up 
HC Aris, C3 Piero, and Toxic all helped me out with this gun this morning. God bless them, so thank you for that, guys. But this is all going to come down to your playstyle. Let me know in the comments down below what your build is going to be. I really like this one. I think it's got a huge potential. I think we're going to be seeing this gun a lot. The noise is what it makes just before you even get to the stats, make it a great weapon. It fires great. I've never took down a, a smasher as fast as what I took down that. When you've got the reload speed popped, you know, for the fire rate with first shot reel, and you've got the Warcraft popped as well, pretty much any, there's no single target that is going to stand in your way. That is going to be a formidable weapon. But guys, massive, massive thanks for watching. If you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be friends. Oh my god!